Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. Happy Friday! It's Friday, so it's weigh-in day. I'm here to share with you my weigh-in results for the week, kind of how my week went. We'll set some goals for next week, and of course, we'll go over the WW workshop topic. It's actually a pretty darn good one all about tracking. So if you're excited for today's weigh-in video, please give it a big, huge thumbs up. It lets me know that you enjoy these weigh-in videos and to keep putting them out every single week. And if you're new or you're not yet subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? I'd love to have you. Hit the little subscribe button and of course the bell next to it so you're notified whenever new videos are uploaded. Make sure you're checking out the description box down below for my brand new meal planner that was just released a few weeks ago. You guys are absolutely loving it, I'm loving it, and we are down to less than 10 on hand. So make sure that you order those before they're gone. Also, you'll find my nutrition coaching where I offer personalized macro and calorie calorie calculation, absolutely essential to losing weight. If you haven't taken advantage of that service, definitely head on over and have me do your macros and calories, whether you're on WW or not, it's really important to know where you should fall every single day. If you're looking for a little bit more one-on-one -on -one help, I can offer that to you as well in both 30 and 60 minute one-on-one -on -one sessions. Just you and I talking about anything that you need help with, we'll set some goals and get you off on the right foot. So definitely check out my nutrition coaching website down in the description box. You'll also find links, discount codes to all of my very favorite things and my Facebook group, another community that would love to have you so head on over and join us so let's jump into this week's weigh-in workshop topic and kind of letting you guys know how my last week went and what my goals are moving into the next week shared with you in last week's weigh-in, it was my least favorite time of the month. It actually started last Thursday, so I'm just now about a week in. I'm coming to an end of my cycle, which is always, always such a huge blessing. And if you also didn't remember from last week, I shared that I am weighing in every day in the month of February. And let me just tell you how interesting the week of my cycle was. I literally every day was up, 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 maintain, up a little, down a little. It was just a crazy roller coaster to ride during the week of my cycle, which is to be expected. I know that I'm going to gain weight like I did last week, the 1.2 pounds. I know that that's coming and I can expect that, but it was interesting to actually see what happens on a daily basis during my cycle. So like I said, I'm doing that the month of February and I'm not sure whether I will continue in the month of March, but I'll definitely let you know next week because that's the last way in of February. I seriously can't believe February is almost over. Who's with me on that? It went super, super fast. So being on my cycle all week was a bit of a challenge. I would say that overall I made good food choices. There was two days during the week that I was above my calories and way over my smart points, which I'm okay with because I use my weeklies every single week. And I generally like to have a high calorie day, as you guys know, once a week as well. Now twice a week, no but once a week, yes. So I did overindulge a little bit last week and I did though get in my workout and my workouts have been excellent. I have been nailing my workouts, feeling so, so good. I'm going three times a week, but my goal in the month of March is to actually go four times a week. So now that I've gotten back in the groove of things, my schedule's gotten a little less crazy. I mean, it's still crazy, but it's a little less crazy that I think that I'm ready to incorporate that fourth day of jazzercise every week. So I'm excited for that. And I'll definitely let you guys know kind of as we get closer to the month of March. So overall, I feel like my week was good. I definitely had 80-20. 80% good eating, 20% maybe not the best eating, got in my exercise, so I'm pretty thankful for how last week went. So let's jump into this week's workshop topic, which is how to make tracking work for you. We all know that it's really hard and almost impossible to lose weight without tracking your food. Tracking and weighing and measuring your food are the two things that you have to do to see success on the scale. But there's a lot of people out there, myself included, that tracking gets really boring and a little bit frustrating and mundane. So we need to talk about how to make tracking work for us when we're struggling to track our food or not track 
tracking our food at all or even worse yet, not tracking honestly. So WW shared five questions with us that we need to ask ourselves to figure out what our tracking strategy should be. Give it a try for a week once we've answered the questions and see if we get a little bit better or more consistent with our tracking. So question number one, is it easier for you to track your food on the go or to track your food all at once, whether that's at the beginning or the end of the day. Question number two, do you prefer to track before, during, or after you've eaten? Question number three, how do you handle smart point values when you don't know the exact value? Question number four, do you save your most used WW meals or foods in the tracker so that you can simply click on them and add them at a glance? Or do you tend to start from scratch each time by searching for the food or creating the recipe? And question number five is what strategies do you lean on? Are you someone that takes pictures of your meals so that you can track them later? Or do you rely heavily on the barcode scanner? So once you've answered those five questions, let's dive a little bit deeper. We know that studies show that tracking and consistently tracking is the easiest way to see success on the scale. And honestly, being consistent with tracking in general is even more important than tracking every little thing that you eat throughout the day. That's why figuring out what type of tracking works best for you is absolutely essential. If you're someone who prefers to track every little thing, your best plan would most likely be the green plan. If you're someone that wants to track the majority of your food, then you would be great on the blue plan. And if you're someone that has a hard time consistently tracking and you just kind of want to eat the foods that you know are good for you, then the purple plan would probably be your best option. We need to think about what WW plan fits into our life better, which plan is more on point for us to consistently track. Consistency is way more important than perfection. Based on your answers to those questions, there's two things that we need to figure out. Number one is figure out how you can track. That means snapping photos of your food and then tracking them later. Or maybe you're someone that tracks all of your food first thing in the morning or with your first meal. And then number two, you need to figure out when you're planning on tracking. When in your day works best for you to track your food. That may mean setting aside five to 10 minutes after dinner or first thing in the morning or allowing yourself a couple minutes after every snack or meal to track your food. Now that you've figured out what type of tracking works best for you and maybe what WW plan works best for you, now it's time to set your environment up for success. Have the app on your phone. If you're someone that tracks on paper, have your tools available for you when works best for you to track, whether that's in the morning, at night, after you snap photos or with every single meal. Just make sure you're setting yourself up for consistency and tracking. And a fun fact for you, did you know that 74% of WW members reported tracking most of the time or always? So they're consistent in their tracking and those are the members that are seeing success. So I think this is a great topic because tracking isn't for everyone. The WW plan isn't for everyone. You have to find the plan that works for you and you have to find the way that you will track consistently. So I think this topic is great because we all know again that tracking is how you lose weight. So now let's talk about this week's weigh-in. If you remember last week I actually gained 1.2 pounds but again I was just starting out my cycle which is to be expected. So when I stepped on the scale this morning I'm down 0.8 eight of that. So I've lost most of the weight that I gained and I'm just rounding out my cycle. So I anticipate that the rest of that will come off in the next couple of days. But fun fact, number two for you in this video is the fact that when I weighed in that last week, I saw that like upward movement. When I weighed in Thursday, I was down over a pound. And when I weighed in today, I was also down a little bit. So as my cycle is finishing, I'm seeing my weight go down, which is something that's important to take note of. And that's partially why I chose to track the entire month of February. So if you are someone that's tracking every day right along with me, definitely let me know down in the comments. So now I wanna hear from you guys how your week went. What do you think of this WW topic? And do you think that you are a consistent tracker? And no matter what WW program you're on, or if you're tracking calories or low carb or keto or whatever diet plan you're choosing, do you feel like you are consistent in tracking your food? That's really the key to success. So definitely let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to give it a big, huge thumbs up. And of course, if you are new or you're not yet subscribed, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it so that you don't miss a single video. I do these weigh-ins every Friday, so you definitely don't want to miss out. Check out the description box for the meal planner, nutrition coaching, links and discount codes to my favorite things, and my Facebook group. We definitely love to have you be part of that community. It's a pretty fun Facebook group to be in. Thank you guys so much for spending a little bit of your Friday with me. I hope you have a fantastic weekend, and I have a 
a really fun grocery haul coming your way tomorrow, so I'll see you then. Bye, friends.